at the beginning, we had no passwords. There was no security at all in our computer system. And the reason is that the hackers who originally wrote the system about a year or two before I started working there had the conclusion that any kind of security would be a tool for administrators to control and restrict the hackers. So they thought, why give them a tool to use against us? So they decided to omit security from the system. And it was just great that way. Anyone could do anything. The system didn't try to control human beings. Instead, we figured that human beings could talk to each other and get along with each other and resolve any real problems they had without programming the computer to control everybody and thus resolve any disputes. And it worked. It worked very, very well. And later on, though, some administrators tried to get security features put in, and there was a pressure to have passwords. And some of these attempts to have passwords were actually defeated, and I helped defeat some of them. There was another lab in the same building which used the same operating system on a few computers. And one of those groups decided to install passwords. But I thought that was horrible. And so I had an idea for an, an action to ridicule and undermine the password system. I worked out a way to decrypt the passwords because the passwords were stored in encrypted form. You couldn't just read them in a file. If you could, everybody would be able to read them. There was no file protection. Anybody on the machine could read any file. Uh, so they were stored encrypted, but I think by looking at the code that encrypted them, I worked out a simple program in Lisp to figure out how to decrypt them. If they had chosen good encryption, that would have been impossible, but their encryption wasn't that good. So I wrote this program and I started decrypting people's passwords. Now, why did I do that? I didn't need to do that to do anything on the computer because the passwords only stopped you from logging in and I could log in as me. And once I was logged in as me, I could do anything at all anyway. But rather, my reason for decrypting people's passwords was to show them how little security there really was. So I would send them a message saying, I see that your password is such and such. Why not join me and use the empty string as your password? So you just have to type enter. It's the shortest possible password, so it's very little work to type it. And it's just as secure as the password you're using now. And not only that, it's a protest against passwords. So I got one-fifth of the users on that computer to join me in this protest against security which I consider pretty successful.